Good morning, guys. Good morning, Ekaro. Welcome to my kitchen. <laughs> so, guys, this morning I'm going to start by showing you how I mix, how I boil my meat. That is the most important aspect of making any soup. Make sure you stock your meat very well. How you stock your meat will determine if the soup is going to be tasty or not. So guys, we are going to start. This is my pot. Of course, empty pot. There is no water inside. This is my meat here. I have cow tail and um, flesh. <laughs> so you put your meat in the pot. This is cow skin. It's called pomo. I've already parboiled. I have already boiled this with a pressure pot. You don't want to start cooking this for two hours. And guys, the truth is that if you live here in Germany or in any Western world, just do yourself the favor of what buying a pressure pot. Honestly, it will help you. This cow skin. I cooked it. I think ten or fifteen minutes. That is all, and it's done. With my stock fish if you are going to boil this directly on the cooker be ready to <laughs> to pay you are going to pay a lot of money so guys get a pressure pot if you're in nigerian and you cook cow leg you cook cow tail you cook anything cow skin the pressure pot is the best pot to cook those things so guys i'm going to add my cow skin to the meat because i really want the cow skin i only boiled it with salt and i want to get all the ingredients inside so guys what is coming next water no not water guys here i have pepper blended pepper blended crayfish um, onion and ginger this is what i have here and i'm just going to go ahead and add it to the meat I do not use water immediately to boil my meat. This is how I boil it. And I'm just going to mix this together. Make sure you mix it very well. You add your salt, your salt to taste. You will have to salt this very well so that the meat will have taste. You know the meat we have here in uh, in Germany or in Europe is all this premature cow, and you really have to sauce it very well for it to be able to have taste. Or else you'll be eating dry, <laughs> something that looks like bread. So guys, here is the meat, the pepper, the crayfish. I have added everything. I'm going to add two cubes maggi depending on what you are cooking you can add more you can add less and if you are the type who does not eat maggi you can also add what you, you use Adding the third one because I think this is much wash my hand. So guys, I'm going to mix this together. show you what it looks like this is it this is um roundabout is intestine so you can use what you like i just want to show you how i sauce the meat i boil the meat first 
before I add water and other things. So I add my shaki or roundabout. Guys, I've also boiled, I've already parboiled the stock fish. I'm also going to be adding it immediately because I want it also to have taste of the crayfish, of the pepper. I want the pepper to enter inside very, very well. If you have boiled, if your, your stock fish is already boiled to a level that it is very soft. Maybe you should not put it at this point. But I make sure I boil my stock fish not too soft so that I'll be able to put it early enough. The same thing with the, the cow skin. The same thing with the cow skin. So if you have boiled it to the level that is already soft, if you add it now, you will not see it to pick up in the soup. So make sure you boil it just a little. It's soft. And then you can put it earlier so that it will have enough taste of the crayfish and the rest ingredients. Guys, this is it. I'm just going to allow this to boil. I'm going to allow this to boil for the first 10 minutes before I add water and I'll order that things. At this moment where I have not still added water, I want to add my oil. This is because I want the oil to also cook very well. I do not want to have it on top of my soup. So I normally add the oil also early enough. not soft yet but it has boiled and it has water on it it has brought out its own water I have not added any water this is it, how it looks like you can see the amount of water inside of it and I have not even added water to it so guys at this point you want if this is optional if you want to use this this is a shrimp if you want to use it, prawns or shrimp, like Dutch shrimp, <laughs> English prawns. If you want to use this, it's optional. It doesn't matter what you want to use, but I love this. There is no meal that I cook that I don't put prawns. <laughs> I love it. And then you add your dry fish. You can also use any dry fish of your choice. You mustn't use what I am using. Guys, if you are using, I don't like to use fresh fish to cook, to make soup. But if you are using fresh fish, do not add it at this point. And because the meat is still fresh, I am only trying to mix it. I'm only trying to make sure that the crayfish, the, gin, the ginger and onion and everything goes into the meat properly before I add water. But now the, the meat is ready. It has brought out its own water and um, at this point I want to add my water. I have water here which is from the blender that I use to blend pepper. I add water and also this you can add water from the water that you use to cook the stockfish and the cow skin. So I still have the water here. 
that is the water I am going to be adding to the soup. If you are cooking okra that you don't want a lot of water in it, you want to be very very careful with the water. This okra, I want to be able to, I don't want it watery, I want it very thick. The one that I, I can eat without swallow. <laughs> So I am careful with the amount of water that I, I am going to add. So guys, here you have to taste to make sure you have to add more salt. Salt is not enough because I have added water. And if you like Maggi, you can also add more Maggi, if you like. So guys, I am going to allow the meat to cook. We have to dance for this soup. Okay guys, my meat is soft and it is time to add the okra. This okra I bought last week and um, I didn't have time to make it last week so I just cut, sliced it and put it inside the freezer. So that is how we preserve it here so that it doesn't get spoiled. I'm just going to go ahead and add this to my soup. Add the okra. Guys, this is the way I cut my okra. You can see how big it is. <laughs> I love to pick vegetables in soup. Even when I cook with cauliflower and broccoli, that is just the way I like to cut it also. I don't like things to perish inside the soup. Guys, men. Men, 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 men. Women, 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 women. This is super. When I mean super, I mean super. You can't believe what I'm seeing here. Mm. Oh. Ah. 
I'm going to go ahead and add my spinach. I told you I wanted it to be something that I can eat without. So there is no water. There is no the water is so small, and this is just the way I like it. It's not going to draw so much. I'm just going to mix this together, and I will show you. Guys, I'm going to add a little water, my meat stock water, because I want it to cook for another three minutes or five. Because um, if I don't add water, it's going to burn under. There's no single water inside. I have added the okra and the spinach. And like I said, there's no much water inside. Because uh, I'm making the soup to eat as vegetable. I'm not going to be using much or swallow to eat it. So I'm just going to be eating the soup alone because I want to, don't want to get fat. <laughs> yes, guys, I don't eat a lot of swallow. So every soup that I make, I make it thick so that it will be something that will eat and get satisfied. So guys, that is it. I'm going to dish some right now so that we can eat together. You know how we do. Hi guys, welcome back. It is time to eat i've had breakfast so i am not going to swallow anything i'm just going to go ahead and eat my soup so guys did you like the process if you want to make soup the most important aspect of it where you have to be very very careful you have to be very very creative is at that beginning where you have your meat where you, how you boil your meat how you sauce it how you season it that is what will determine if the soup is going to be tasty or not. Because okra has no taste. Spinach or ugu has no taste. Or or ha So the beginning of how you mix your dry fish, your oroko stock fish, your cow leg, whatever it is that you want to use. How you season it and boil it will determine if that soup is going to be tasty or not. So guys, I hope you enjoy it. And if you like this video, give me a thumb up. Don't forget to subscribe if you are new here. And also share, share the video with others. And I hope um, you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for stopping by and God bless.